All right, here's some help with uh, 9.1 exercises. And um, first one's pretty easy, create a person object. So this one, if you look at it, um, there's a student. Well, let's go to person first. This is the super class. You know why? Because it just says public class person. The other reason I know why is it's more general. So the only thing in here is a name and a birthday. If you look at the constructor, you can make this pretty easily. Thomas Edison, right? Um, cool, right? Get birthday, get name are these two things. Now, when you go to the student one, it says public class student extends person, which means it automatically gets name and birthday from the class person since it extends it. You also get these for free. You get uh, birthday and get name methods. Even though you don't see them here, you get them. And you don't see, look at this, private int grade, private int double GPA. You still get a name and a birthday. And look how you bring it in. If it's from a class above it, a super class, you say super, and you list all the attributes you want to import. It's basically like you're just downloading it. Okay, so the cool thing is you can just, you know, look at the... Uh, the constructor here and make Thomas Edison and his birthday and then if you go to the student one you get to make name birthday grade and GPA and you can use all these I think I don't think we have to print them out uh, did it say print oh it did say print out okay so you'd have to use some print methods to get it to say name and then get name and birthday and then get birthday and here you'd use you can still use the getters from the other ones to get the name and birthday but you have a couple new getters. So I'll let you do that one. That's pretty darn simple. All right, then for exercise two, um, or 917 on books, basically if you looked at fiction, book is empty, right? But if you look at fiction and um, dictionary, they're both types of books. So if you look at these and you see, oh, this one has pages, name, and author. Dictionary has pages and name and words. So you also, you see what they share. Because if you look at this, why am I rewriting all this stuff? I can even flip through here and see they have set pages, get pages, get name, set name. All those come from the same one. So if you ever see stuff in common, um, you could have just put it <clears throat> in the super class and then didn't have to do it in here. So, I mean, it's pretty simple to grab this stuff they have in common. I'm going to copy, paste this in here. I'm going to get rid of the author one. So if I look at this, I just grabbed everything they have in common. Now, these guys are extending books, so you don't need to rewrite name and pages. right? You don't need to have all these getters and setters because um, they're unnecessary. Oops, did I delete the um, oh, I guess I didn't. Why do we not have a constructor here? Um, huh, weird. I guess they just constructed the old fashioned way. Let's see if that runs. Anyway, um, it's not going to work for, for the other one. Because, uh, you know, I only did it for fiction. Dictionary has some extra stuff. I wonder what is going on here. Check the code. See if we got any. Okay, so it worked with get author. It didn't get location and get uh, pages because I think that's a dictionary item. And I left some extra stuff in there. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Yeah. Anyway, the first one worked. Um, the second one didn't because I got to fix this. It's it doesn't like it if it has, you know, repeated stuff. So go ahead and clean that one up. See if you can get it to work. That also isn't that bad. Okay, and then if we jump to this other one, um, so that was last one was a good example of why we use it. So we don't have to rewrite code all the time. You don't have to. If they extend it. They get to inherit anything uh, public with that. This one. You're going to design three classes. Um, you got computer, and there's laptops and desktops. 
and then you're gonna let's see what we got in here nothing nothing and nothing right so you go to the the top thing here um, and you want to make sure you are using any shared stuff in in the original one here right so we want instance variables getters and setters um, screen size memory battery life monitor and then it says each class should have at least one variable in it so you need to um, basically add an extra one to these other two guys right I wonder if it tells us what we have to add in there now yeah, we'll see so computers um, we're gonna have what um, private oh wait not yeah hold on a sec all right so yeah you do get to say private um, because even though it's private these guys are going to extend it we need to make sure we do extends on those two but if I look at this tester I can see oh laptops have a battery life that makes sense because you don't need a battery life on a desktop that's plugged in uh, screen size seems to just be um, for uh, why would that be for desktop I don't know I guess so um, oh but it shows that all all things have a screen size so I would say in the boolean for monitor is just this is the one that's going to be just for a desktop and this is the one that's just for laptop they all have the other stuff okay so if you go to computer you're going to start making your instance variables private don't worry it'll share it because it's going to inherit them int uh, screen size um, then you're going to private uh, int memory and you're going to have those are the only ones they all have in common and then you're going to write getters and setters I'll let you do that because um, you'll have public uh, and we're going to say uh, public int get screen size right and then we're going to do uh, return uh, screen size and then you can do setters and getters for both of those you make another getter for memory all that stuff but when you go over here you're going to say public class laptop extends computer so now it automatically inherits all the screen size and memory stuff so now you got to do private double battery life right you're going to have the one thing that this guy has and you're going to write getters and setters right uh, remember your methods are public we have public uh, double uh, get battery life And then you'll write setters for them too. Okay, so you're going to do that, and then just make sure you use this extends word. It automatically will get it. Um, you're going to write public set, right? And we're going to set um, what is the battery life? A double, double B, right? And you're going to say battery life equals b or you could do with this dot if you felt like it um oh oh yeah we don't have constructors here so i didn't do the super thing which is weird not to have constructors you're going to find that later um so just finish those up and then you'll be able to do that and then one last one so these aren't hard the only thing i find weird about this is um you don't have to do the super stuff that we saw in the first one. You're going to learn that in a future lesson. There's a whole lesson on super. So that's the way you can inherit their uh, stuff in a constructor that you didn't write, some variables you didn't write. So in this last one, you're going to do an animal. Uh, that definitely is going to be uh, the super class. And then it can extend a subclass of pets so you know pets is gonna all animals will have some traits they share right 
and then pets is going to have some traits they share and then underneath pets you can extend dog and fish um, so yeah you can you can ex have a bunch of things extend pets and you know what dogs even though they're under pets they're also going to get everything you have an animal so it's pretty cool you got a double extension going on so we're going to have public class animal that's a super class and then pet extends animal see that one and then dog extends pet and fish extends pet you just can't have more than one you can't say so the only way you can inherit more than one thing is if you make it like a top-down thing um, so you see what type of animal so you're going to have uh, public or private you're going to put that in here right private string type that's definitely one right and then you're going to have a name for your fish and dog um, that would be something all pets have right I mean because you name your pets right but you wouldn't name all animals so you got to think of where things go um, you wouldn't write them I it would be wasteful for me to write string name and fish and dog because they're both going to have them all pets are going to have um, and then fish needs something specific salt water or fresh water um, so we're going to say water type in fish so private um, string water type right and it says I need to know if my dog has been trained which is a boolean variable so that's just specific to dogs so boolean is trained right and then the size of the dog and fish so where would I put it if they have a size uh, right now it I think you'd be okay um, see how it says none of them should a constructor um, we do need setters and getters but this one it doesn't say that you need to know the size of all animals so I guess we could be okay putting it in here or you could be okay putting it in uh, animal class I don't know when you run the code checker if it's going to be okay if you put it in the animal class or if you have to put it in the pet class so you can test that out and see um, you have to make getters and setters for all of these copy paste is a great thing so you should be able to hack it at that and do a decent job all right people talk to you later